All right, guys, this is Coach, Assistant Coach Keys, uh, Wolves Cross Country. Here's our strength training program. This is what we're going to do on our hard days. So this is a hard effort. It won't be easy. Something we're going to do after a hard day of running. So I'm going to start out with um, split squats. I'm doing 10 total or five on each leg. Uh, what these are is our plyometrics. You'll see I'm switching. It sim stimulates uh, those running muscles, uh, getting them activated. So I just did 10 total, five on each side. Uh, take a quick rest in between. Then I'm going to get started again. These are called um, split. I call them in and outs. Uh, so I'm just doing in and out, quick five, in and out, getting those side abductors fired up. Next, I'm going to grab a chair. Again, I'm going to do five, working on our explosiveness. Uh, this is going to help in our stride to be explosive as well. Uh, neurofiber recruitment in our muscles. So teaching our muscles what muscles to fire and in what sequence. Uh, so this is going to supplement any of our uh, actual weight training, uh, working on our explosiveness. I, um, so those were chair jumps. Make sure you step back down. Don't jump back down. You don't think it's really hard on your body, but it, it can be. Uh, next one, they're called speed skiers. And so you're going to see me. I'm going to go as far as I can to the sides. Uh, again, working on that explosiveness, but uh, we're working. A lot of running is in that, uh, that forward and backwards, and we're going to try to go to the side, um, work out those other muscles, those stability muscles. Um, so again, I did five on each side, 10 total. These ones are broad jumps. Uh, you're just trying to get as far as you can if possible. Again, work on that explosiveness. Think about activating your glutes, hamstrings firing, trying to get as far as you can. Again, I'm just doing five of them. Uh, these can all be scalable. So if five's not enough for you, uh, 10, uh, might be a, a more reasonable number. Maybe you want to do multiple sets. Um, two sets of five, three sets of five. Um, they can all be scaled up to make them more difficult. All right, next one here is going to be burpees. So I'm going down into a push up and then I'm exploding upwards. Again, that common theme we're working on uh, that muscle fiber recruitment and exploding up. Think about running is how fast, who's the fastest at getting their foot on the ground and back up with the most power possible. That's who's going to win the race. And uh, so that's what we're working on there. All right, next we're going to do um, glute bridges, but we're only doing them on one leg. In our easy video, we did both legs. This one, we're, uh, it's a little bit more difficult today. It's a hard day. Again, this is immediately following a run. So this uh, is going to activate like the same type of metabolism as you were running, but you're actually doing strength training. So It'll give you a nice cool down, but uh, kind of adds on to those those aerobic minutes that you would be running in a uh, in a different format, so we don't beat ourselves up so much from running. All right, so that was a one-legged hip raise. So the idea was you're activating your glutes to get in there. Uh, these ones are called uh, I call plank jacks or plank outs, but we're only doing one leg at a time. Um, I'm doing five on each side again, ten total. Uh, this is kind of a bad angle, so you'll see me uh, at the end after I do my 10. I look in the video, and I'm like, well, maybe I should show them from the, the other side here. Um, that's what I was doing the whole time. So you're holding a plank. I probably could have been a little bit more straight there, but that's the idea, um, working out those hips stabilizers. All right, next we're going to go to a side plank, but I'm going to do a leg raise at the same time. Uh, the slower you can go, actually, the harder and the better for you it is. So I might be going a little too fast and I really think about activating that hip. Uh, these ones are really tough for me because they have tight hamstrings. Uh, so it's a supine plank and then I'm raising my legs at the, uh, at the same time. You can see I'm struggling a little bit here and it is for me after a hard workout. Um, I could have got my hips up a little higher. And then here I just got to finish up on the other side with those leg raises. Again, slower is better. It means you have better control. And we want to have better control when we're running, have better proprioception, 
where our body is at. These next ones here, these are called uh, bird dogs. And I do bird dogs uh, with a little bit of a kick out to the side and my arm comes out, even more stability. Again, five on each side. I come in, elbow to knee, kick my uh, foot out to the side, hand out to the side. And then I gotta switch what you do on one side, you gotta do it on the other. I wanna make sure we create that balance. You wanna think that there's a purpose behind all these things is to make us a more stable runner. Um, it's pretty easy when you're going at an easy pace, or but uh, you're in that second half, second mile, third mile, uh, your form starts breaking down. And the reason why we're doing these things here, uh, this is a super person um, working on the, those back, lower back muscles. The reason why we're doing this is so we can become stronger runners overall and uh, less injury prone and in that last mile our form stays stable and we're not breaking down iron crosses you're just doing across your body don't worry about how high you're getting up just do whatever is comfortable to you <laughs> working out those hips um making sure you're nice and loose there this is i'm just going up on one foot and i'm kind of pulsating down on that calf muscle just stretching out those the calf muscles, I call these three-legged dogs. Uh, next one, we'll go ankle over the knees. Um, I, again, I'm just kind of uh, relaxing and then flexing and kind of juicing the joint, I like to say. There, it should feel good. You do five on each side. And um, depending on you, you might want to do a couple more. Uh, just depends on how you're feeling about it. All right, next I go to, uh, it doesn't seem like I'm doing a whole lot, but if you, if you do it, this one's recommended by a lot of uh, physical therapists and chiropractors. Um, you just grab behind your knee, pull it back as far as you can, and just raise your leg up, and you'd be amazed at uh, what this will do for your flexibility and your hamstrings if you're doing it for, uh, well, for you, probably a couple weeks. For adults, it takes a couple months. Um, next one here, I'm just doing a quad stretch. Again, I'm gonna flex and release, flex and release. You might need to uh, hold on to something while you're doing it. This one would be okay to hold on to for a little bit longer. I only do it just for that five pulses, just so I can keep that theme, but for you, you might wanna go longer. And then lastly, I'm just gonna finish off with the butterfly. Okay, again, this is after a hard workout, uh, something you can do real quick, only takes a couple minutes and will improve our strength our mobility, um, all that. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for watching.